Oh, Here's this fibula, and actually on the on the ultrasound you can see a little speck of calcification, much clearer than this X-ray. Here again is this calcification from an avulsion from the distal fibula. You don't really see any ATFL, you just see some hypoechoic signal in the region where you would expect the ATFL. It's had injuries in the past, it's barely visible on x-ray. So I guess this is a case where um, ultrasound kind of clarifies your x-ray in a way. It's got a lot of fluid there in the soft tissue just above the um, distal fibula. And here again is that subcutaneous swelling slash edema which you see very commonly with ankle sprains. Here's his ATFL, you really, for 759, really torn up uh, anterior telfibrillar ligament. Again, there may be some remaining fibers here in the ATFL, but essentially completely torn, and the ultrasound makes the avulsion quite apparent. However, on x-ray, it was quite a subtle finding. Here we're going to review the anatomy of the lateral aspect of the ankle. You can see the normal anterior telfibrillar ligament, calcaneal fibrillar ligament, and posterior telfibrillar ligament. And here we are, we're going to change the anterior telfibrillar ligament into this high grade partial tear, mainly the distal fibers as they begin to insert on a talus, which you can see here. There's a waviness to the ligament, also thinned and especially thinned near its distal aspect near the talus. See also that loose body within the substance of the ligament as well. Here's an axial MRI that was taken after the ultrasound, which shows a high grade tear of the distal attachment onto the talus of the anterior talfibrillar ligament. And based on the MRI, there are some fibers remaining in this ligament. Again, mostly distally, the ligament was torn but you can see some fibers remaining proximally on the MRI, which you really weren't able to see much on the ultrasound, and I believe perhaps some shattering from the avulsed fragment made it difficult to see those proximal fibers of the ligament.